Generac made three big additions to its PowerCell line of products this year. Two in particular, the PowerCell generator and the Power Manager load management device, hold the key to true whole home backup with just one battery. Here to make the pitch is product manager Jeremy Niles. Jeremy, uh, combining a PV system and a battery with a generator isn't exactly you know, a, a new idea. You know, it's an old off-grid, uh, you know, in the wilderness idea. Um, but a DC generator that connects directly to a battery and solely charges that battery is definitely new. Uh, and possibly game-changing for a grid-tied system. Um, so I guess I wanted you to explain the power generator a bit more to me. How exactly is it set up to function and complement PV plus storage systems on the grid? If you've ever installed a generator, uh, you know that the hard part is not, you know, dropping off the truck, situating it, um, even plumbing the gas lines, you know, is, is something that, you know, I don't know, you, you probably, you know, hire out to a local plumber or something, but, um, but, but the AC uh, side connections are, are one of the tougher parts, right? Because you have a, an automatic transfer switch. Um, you've got, uh, you know, to make room in that panel for a, for a, a large uh, power source. In this case, all you have to do is just run positive, negative, and ground wires back to the inverter. That's it. Plug and play. With this power generator to just charge the batteries, you're in a situation where the, the grid is gone. You're going to be able to function as your own a kind of little nano grid there, correct? Yeah, that's right. I guess, yeah, a little higher level than, you know, how the actual installation works. You've got customers, they're interested in storage, people who are interested in storage, you know, solar and storage, um, they want to get a lot for their money, right? And, you know, when, when you kind of get to the, the expectation setting phase of, uh, of the sales process, people are disappointed and like, ah, I think I'll just go with solar for now. I think that's a pretty common story. When you add this product, you can add days and days and days of autonomy, right, of, of backup power without having to oversell on battery storage. Um, so you can sell, you know, a, uh, a battery that is sized for, you know, sort of day in, day out load shifting or, or you know, cycling to, to do some peak avoidance type operations and then back that up with a, with a generator that will keep it topped off through even the the gnarliest longest lasting power outage which which is really cool that that's the part that really has me like oh, okay wow so do you foresee customers uh, the customers for this going this route instead of adding that second battery because i feel like that's usually that sticking point you're talking about the mm -hmm. customer wants that battery they are you know probably looking for a whole home storage and one battery usually cannot afford them what they're envisioning right if you're in the northeast like me you know, we have these ice storms that come through. You have uh, nor'easters that come through in the winter and cover the array in snow and really, really limit your charging ability, which in turn kind of limits the uh, the viability of, uh, of a battery as a, as a long-term backup solution. 80%, maybe 90% of outages last only a couple hours, but people are really thinking about, you know, the big ones these days as climate change gets more intense. Um, and uh, as grid, grids also are getting, you know, less and less stable all the time. So this is a great way to uh, actually increase massively your days of autonomy, the uh, amount of time that you can, you can have energy independence and, uh, and energy security at home without over investing in a, in battery capacity that is, is largely going to sit idle, right. For, for anywhere from 80 to 90% of the time. If I'm a customer that is open to having a generator, right? Mm -hmm. Why, why even have the battery then? Why not just put some solar on the roof and have the old standard, uh, you know, generator just sitting on standby for those outages? I mean, what's the battery add in that? I think that's a totally legit question. And I mean, the good news is, is that um, Generac, if that's what you want to do, we can help you out. You know, um, we're, we're, we're there for you. Um, no matter what, you know, mix of energy technology is going to solve your problem. Um, and, and that very well may be the solution is just solar and a generator it might be all you need. Um, but folks who are going to add a battery to their system um, are doing it usually uh, for reasons that are slightly more nuanced than straight up backup power. Maybe your average uh, outage really is just like a day long affair or shorter, right? And you really don't want the, uh, the noise. You don't want um, the fuel line. You don't want... Uh, you know, the, the annual maintenance or whatever, you know, like whatever it is, like you, you find uh, generators to be, um, you know, not your cup of tea. So you want something that's a little bit sleeker, greener, potentially. Uh, that's a huge driver for folks in, in solar and storage. Furthermore, uh, the economics of solar and the grid are, are also getting, you know, um, they're changing. They're getting more nuanced. They're getting more complicated. 
And uh, not only like our prices just going up every year, we're also seeing variations in rate structures. This is you know par for the course in in markets like California, where yeah you, know, you have you know one rate that you pay in the afternoon when you know the sun's high in the sky, and then you have one rate that you pay at night when the sun goes away, and everyone's turning on their you know their their oven at night. And a battery is like an extremely uh, tidy way to take care of that problem. So for for people who uh, who want to have it all and have it at a, at a at a pretty awesome value, this is uh, this is the way I think you're going to see the market going. Just as integral to the new bunch of rollouts, uh, product announcements you've had is the, is the power manager, which is a load management uh, device, you know, for it handles 12 circuits and two thermostats, which uh, that was key. So an yeah. entire home. Um, and previously you were doing this with smart management uh, modules, SMMs. Mm -hmm. what, what's different about the power manager? And the SMMs were um, inline devices that, you know, you would, you know, you look at your electrical panel, you've got circuits running out all over the home. You would basically sever one of those circuits and drop the SMM in line with that circuit as a way to add some automated load control to it. When when uh, when the when the home's demands exceeded the capacity of the system to to serve, SMMs detect that, drop the load, and if you have you know higher priority loads running, uh, they will actually kind of like prevent lower priority loads from turning on. Power Manager is our second generation load management solution. It's got a lot more brains. It's got a lot more capacity for load management and and it's just going to keep on getting smarter which is which is really neat so like what we're launching on day one here is really cool but you're going to see you know subsequent firmware updates um over the updates uh expand that functionality so yeah it's got 12 120 volt relays each relay these are custom by the way with a built-in current transformer that um that does a number of things any circuit you connect whether 120 or 240 right because you can double these relays up to control 240 volt loads which is really nice. In the past, SMMs could only do 240 volt loads, so they were really only for dumping the biggest loads in the home, right? Mm -hmm. A sub panel, a hot tub. These are going to allow you to have um, circuit by circuit control of most every circuit in the home. All right, so you get circuit by circuit control. It's all automated in the same fa fashion that the SMMs automate control, where it, it knows how much power the inverter has on tap and then is able to allocate really like budget for you based on what the, what the inverter has available. Unlike the SMMs, like right from your phone, you're able to then override and and control circuit by circuit what's on, what's off, based on on your own, you know, momentary priorities. The PowerView app um, that you know has that toggle function to turn circuits on and off. Uh, what I thought was really cool was how it also shows how much battery capacity you have remaining mm -hmm. in terms of time after you do that. You know, so you know maybe I want at, at what I'm running out full capacity. I only have two hours, but you know I want to elongate how much, you know, because I don't know how long, how long this outage is going to last type of thing. So can you explain uh, how significantly the power manager can maximize a battery life? So when, you, when you're relying on a battery for backup power, you know, as a battery gets bigger, it increases not only in terms of uh, energy storage capacity, right, which you can think about in terms of like, you know, gas in the tank or, or runtime. Um, it usually also increases in terms of power output, right? So, you know, more batteries equals more power. And uh, and right now what this project is focused on is actually not on the duration side of things, but on the power side of things, right? Where you have a limited power budget, you know, moment to moment, and you want to make sure that, that power budget is really going towards the, the loads that manage the very most. In the future, I kind of alluded to this earlier, we're going to see um, changes to this product that will enable it to, you know, make decisions based on on capacity, right, to extend runtime uh, according to your priorities. But but today, it's really focused on making sure that the things you want to have running stay running. But it does surface that uh, that ability for the, the user to make choices, right? And it gives you all the feedback you need to make those choices the most informed way possible, where you see on the app, you know, how much power each and every circuit is using at a given time. And when you uh, turn one of those circuits off, you'll see again in real time how that affects your projected runtime. It seems like there's quite a few um, load management devices out there with a couple different mm -hmm. strategies. Um, some are just straight up smart electric panels, like full on get rid of the old electric panel and we're just yep. going to install this. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some mixed reviews about the installer side of things, you know, how much they enjoy actually um, integrating these into the home. Uh, sure. I, I guess what, what, what's your pitch for installers in terms of the ease of install or any tweaks uh, or features they might appreciate in terms of adding the the power manager. This is totally brand new and uh, a total slam dunk from our design team. They focused a lot on the installer experience, making it as simple as possible to to put in place. All it is is uh, about a, like a it's like a shoebox sized panel that you install underneath 
an existing main panel and then you route circuits in the home into it and then back out into the main panel. Our team can put it, can install one in about 90 minutes, okay? Not promising that you're gonna do that on your first go around with it, but I think you'll get close after a few, uh, after a few uh, installations. We looked at everything that's on the market today. You know, we've got smart breakers. Um, we have smart panels, like you said. We have, uh, we even have devices that are kind of similar um, in how they install and how they, how they work. Basically everything out there we, we saw falling short in, you know, um, a couple different ways. I mean, either the build quality wasn't there, um, the integration, the tight integration with, uh, with the solar and the battery system wasn't there. Um, or the installer experience was just was just rubbish, right? Because it's a you know you might have like a totally you might have the smartest panel in the world, right? A, it's crazy expensive. B, uh, it takes a really long time to to install. If, I guess if you're doing one in your in your brand new you know um, integrated energy system home, not a big deal to put in. But if you're doing a retrofit with all these smart panels, yeah, like see you tomorrow because it's like a it's like a nine hour install. When will the, the products we talked about today uh, become officially available? So the power manager and the power generator are both going to be available in q1 of the coming year in 2022 um so look for those in like the uh february march time frame well hey jeremy uh thanks for taking the time very curious on uh generax path going forward and now that you have basically everything an installer could need yeah keep your eyes peeled um we've got we've got more surprises coming uh before too long <laughs>